ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mac10, and welcome to another episode of First Look in 5, the show where I do a brief introduction overview of video games. Not necessarily in five minutes, but I'm keeping the name anyway because it sounds good. So, today's game, Orcs Must Die, is produced by Robot Entertainment, a small independent game studio, and this game is an action strategy game that is one of the most addictive games I've ever played out of, especially considering it's an indie title, it's incredible. Um, the controls are very simple, as you can see, you have simple keyboard controls plus your click to use your active ability, you have a uh, right click to use your secondary ability, and cycle through your different abilities with the mouse wheel per usual. So I imagine, I'm going to go ahead and skip the cutscene, but basically, look at my spell book. Let's see what I have five book. available slots. So I have a crossbow, a sword, the or the blade staff, as it's called, the spike trap, the tar trap that slows down enemies, and the arrow walls. So I close this up, and now I can go over here and put a spike trap there, and I can put another spike trap there, another one there another one there and I'm spending money as you can see in the bottom left hand corner I'm spending money to set these traps but basically I spend all my money on those traps now I'm going to press G to unleash the horde which is the horde of orcs and now they will rush through to try to get to this portal which I am defending so I'm going to start out with the bow which Starts out with really good accuracy, but with similar to a first-person shooter's recoil effect, the accuracy gets worse the more I shoot. Now, the spike traps do not just take out one orc. They last and mow down multiple orcs. However, they only periodically spring. So, as you can see, the front traps, if you watch up the front, you can see those traps are reloading. The spikes are coming back to where they were when I first put the traps down, meaning that they will spring and absolutely gore up these orcs, meaning my job's actually extremely easy. So, I also have the arrow wall, which I have not tried yet. Three, two, one, and I'm going to go ahead and put down two more, three more. Not enough money. Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to use this crossbow. Oh, that's a force field. Now they are actually in the game, and I have to wait a moment so that my accuracy returns to normal. So as you can see, the game's extremely addictive and fast-paced. The strategy element is what to spend your money on, where to set the traps down, and how to set them down. This game's absolutely phenomenal. Like I said, I've played a good deal of indie games. I'm just now really becoming a, hopefully what I would one day call a connoisseur of independent game titles. But out of all the games I've played, all indie games I've played, this is probably one that I am the most proud to own. I mean, this is an absolutely fantastic title. It was released last October, October 11th, 2011, I believe was the official release date. You can get it on Steam, which is where I got it. And right now it's on sale, on the Steam Summer Sale, until uh, July 23rd for the low price of, I think, $7.50, $7.40 something cents. Either way, if it were $20, if it were $30, I mean, really, if this title were $40, it would be a fair price for it. But for $7.50, there is no way that I can tell you not to buy it. I mean, it's incredible. It's, it's the best indie title that I have ever played so far. However, that is not to say I won't play a better one. I've got a large collection of them that I intend to explore play for a few minutes and then make a video such as this about them. However, like I said, this is probably the most exciting one that I've encountered so far. And I'm going to put an arrow wall there. Now they're, uh, they're coming. Whoop, whoop, wrong way. Very fast paced. I like that about it. I'm not big on, I'm generally not big on fast paced games unless they are fast paced strategy games such as your MOBA game or uh, let's say Dota clone game or your uh, StarCraft 2, your standard real time strategy. So, in general, I mean, this game is its one of the few fast-paced games that can really, really hold my attention, that I, even I enjoy. I mean, I'm a much more laid-back gamer, you know. The closest thing to Twitch action that I get to is StarCraft, is Diablo, is uh, Dota. You know, I'm, I'm not a big first-person shooter player. In fact, I 
for the most part, I really I avoid first-person shooters. If I play a first-person shooter, it's never in any sort of multiplayer because I really don't like embarrassing myself that much. And you can see I'm doing a little bit of a dance because I've just cleared the level. There's my victory screen, all's well and good, smiley face for my hero, and my score, all of, you know, your generic things here. So, continue, and I've been granted the arrow wall upgrade, which I got the first time I cleared the level, and, and I just used it for the first time that game. So, now I can go press B, and and play with every time I defend a rift. Well, thank you for watching. This has been another episode of First Look in 5. If you want to see how this level turns out, you should buy the game yourself for like I said the low price of under $7.50 on the Steam Summer Sale until July 23rd. So thank you again for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe for more indie game content, more Dota 2 content, more Diablo 3 content and uh, more giveaways. Right now I'm giving away a pair of Dota 2 beta keys tomorrow and uh, I hopefully will be giving away five more within the next two weeks and then hopefully somewhere down the road a Counter-Strike Go beta key. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.